Why the heck is everyone buying this gaming laptop on Amazon right now? No, seriously, why is everyone buying this gaming laptop? Is it because of the RTX performance? Is it because of the price point? Well, in today's video, we're gonna buy it ourselves and let you all know exactly what we think of it, show you guys what kind of upgrade options there are and upgrade it ourselves and decide whether or not you should be buying this gaming laptop from Amazon. But before we dive into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Are you looking to sell your old gaming laptop to upgrade to the one featured in today's video? Well, today's video sponsor Jawa has you covered. Jawa is a marketplace that specializes in what we know and love, PC hardware. From being able to buy fully built gaming PCs, gaming laptops, graphics cards, CPUs, and more, Jawa has you covered. We here at the Toasty Bros love to preach the importance of the used PC hardware market and the value you can get when buying stuff used, and Jawa makes it super easy to find great options at great prices from a wide range of rated sellers. So do yourself a favor, the next time you're looking to build your next gaming PC or sell your old hardware, check the link in the description down below and head on over to Jawa today. Big shout out to Jawa for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into it, shall we? So yes, guys, this is the cheapest gaming laptop at the time of recording this video. Now, by the time this video releases, it might be the most expensive. Amazon's kind of crazy with their pricing and the manufacturers, of course, but this is the Asus F15 gaming laptop that is featuring a little bit older hardware, but for $699, it might honestly be worth it because to get into like 12th or 13th gen, and let's just say new RTX 40 series in a laptop, they kind of start around a grand right now, $1,000. So yeah, that's $300 more than this. And we're gonna find out if saving the $300 is worth it. But let's go ahead and see what we get. I'm already liking this. this is a It's a nice box. Premium, box, premium presentation. Yeah, so we actually get a, let's see, an Asus branded power supply, 150 watts. So that's definitely not bad in the wattage at all. It's kind of funny. I'm just now like realizing how some companies will use like Chickeny and other uh, third party brands like that. And then Asus is like, nah, we're using Asus. We Asus. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, but yeah, nice looking power brick for sure. Just uses one of these standard connectors that you guys are pretty used to, one of the three prongs, but that's good to go. Now our laptop itself, we have the kind of Asus tough design that I'm used to seeing. The back's not like super blingy or anything. It looks like these might be lights, but I, I cannot tell. I don't think they are. I think I'm taking everything. Yeah, you know he's back. just gonna take that all back. We'll turn it on and find out. But yeah, just really nice graphical design. Now on the back, we don't have any ports, but we do have some LED indicators, which is kind of an interesting spot. I'm assuming you can see them underneath the monitor. So going to the right side of the laptop, wow, we literally <laughs> just have one USB 3 and a Kingsington lock. Now on the other side, we got a lot of ports. We have our 12 volt in, we have a full size ethernet port, a full size HDMI, two more USB 3s, a USB C and a combo headphone jack, not bad in the ports, you know, for a, a Windows based laptop. It's relatively lightweight too, 15.6 inch screen. Bezels aren't too bad on it. It is a 144 Hertz adaptive sync screen. Um, and yeah, this has the 11400H, which they actually advertise as being Thunderbolt 4. Nice, so seat. it is Thunderbolt. That's pretty dope. So that's pretty cool to see. I've never really seen a laptop manufacturer really advertise that. Um, now they're gonna talk about their, their fan design. Every gaming laptop does that these days. We're gonna actually test it. We're gonna game. We're gonna let you guys know if it's hot, loud, or what. It does talk about Aurora RGB. So I got the vibe, we're gonna have a nice RGB keyboard. And yeah, I mean, RTX 2050, that's a weird one. That's one that I really don't, I don't remember much about. Most know? people, from what I've seen, it's actually not that old. It actually is meant to be like a replacement for the 1650s and laptops. Yeah, and I, I think it, it came out a lot more recent, I yes. feel like. It, it was a very late innovation where it's like, I feel like 20 series was already kind of over with and they're like, hey, 2050. check this out, you know? It's definitely weird. We'll have to, we'll, um, we'll tell McAllister to actually put the release date down because I am kind of curious now. We'll need to look it up and we'll talk about it. But let's go ahead and get it plugged in. I don't expect us to have any problems with this. Asus laptops have always been very dependable in our eyes. So yeah, oh yeah, dude, look at that. That's that real RGB nice. right there. That's really bright too. Now for 700 bucks, I, yeah. 144 Hertz, full RGB screen. A pretty nice, relatively central trackpad that actually has buttons too. That's, that's this weird thing I was noticing is, you know, we had a particular customer and a lot of, track pads are starting to go off to the left and they're starting to get rid of the buttons, which a lot of people don't like because if they actually use the trackpad a lot, they kind of drag it naturally when using WSD and all that. So that's something that some people might really want to think about. 
Yeah, now the only downside with this budget laptop is the eight gigs of RAM. We have to verify if it's dual or single channel. Um, obviously, if it is we'll single channel, we will take our bets. I'm gonna bet it's single channel, yeah. if I had to guess. <laughs> um, if it's dual channel, that's cool. But if it's single channel, we'll try to see how easy it is to upgrade so you guys at home know how to slap it in another stick of memory and just pay the extra 30 bucks and make this thing a really awesome gaming laptop. But for the sake of today's video, we'll test it in its current configuration. Once I finish load, loading up, we can figure out exactly what it has. But um, yeah, so far, the deal looks pretty solid. And if for some reason we test it and it's like horrible, which this does happen a lot. We'll test it with eight gigs and Matt's just like, I don't like this. And Not then enough. we'll end up upgrading it. So if that's the case, we will throw some more RAM in it on the video itself. So we're gonna go ahead and go through our setup and this is actually 11, didn't it? It is. So that's cool that we already actually have 11 on here. Um, that was one thing I was actually kind of worried about because once again, with the whole sitting in warehouses sometimes, they don't always get 11 and this is, you could say older hardware. This hardware wasn't really out when Windows 11 was. So I'm definitely glad that we already got upgraded to that. Moment of truth, what do we have? 100% CPU. Oh, usage great start. So the CPU is a six core 12th though. We were wrong yeah. about that actually. Oh yeah, wow. It actually, it's like a real i5. And look at that. One stick, it is 3200 megahertz. So for anyone at home who would like to upgrade, you'll basically want to get another 3200 megahertz DDR4 SODIM stick. Now our SSD is a Samsung 512 gig Gen 3 NVMe SSD. And then as you can see, we do have <laughs> the Intel integrated graphics um, with probably like some sort of MUX switch. So yeah, this is a basically almost 30 series RTX card in a way. Yeah, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is install some games and see how it performs and see if it can fully take advantage of that high refresh rate display. Um, and then we'll decide whether or not we should do the upgrades and go from there. All right, guys, we're playing Apex Legends and we are, yep, not gonna tell you what settings we're on. <laughs> we're at 1920 by 1080 max FOV. And as you can see, we're pretty much running low medium. We don't have scaling or anything turned on. Just try to get those maximum performance at 1080p, true 1080p. And we are running with a single eight gig stick of memory, uh, like we said we would. And it's so far running pretty solid. We had to uninstall some background tasks, get rid of McAfee, get rid of all the bloatware, um, because on idle, the system was using about like five gigs to six gigs of RAM just in Windows. So we got rid of that, and so far it's looking like it's running a lot better, even with just a single stick. Dude, this screen's so small though. It is still small screen, still laptop screen. Oh, God. coming after you, Pathfinder. I shouldn't have came after that, Pathfinder. <laughs> but yeah, that was um, that was Apex Legends. It was smooth. It, the game ran pretty quiet. So we'll see how, uh, probably, what, Fortnite? Fortnite. Yeah, for, we know Fortnite's going to run, but how well will it run with the RAM limitation? Let's find out. Well, let's see. All right, you fellow gamers. You want Fortnite, you're getting Fortnite. And now, uh, right now we're running on TSR low, performance upscaling, medium settings across the board. Just trying to, you know, maximize this single channel eight gigs of memory, which is gonna hold us back a little bit. Right now we're at 7.6 gigs of RAM use. So basically all the RAM's being used at this point. Um, so we'll go ahead and land and see what the FPS ends up being, but I'd imagine we're gonna have some stutters here and there because of the single channels. Uh, and it being only eight gigs. 16 gigs will make a big difference in pretty much any modern game that you will play on this laptop. Um, so upgrading that is pretty pretty essential if you wanna have the maximum performance here, but it is pretty impressive to see that um, even with the single channels, it's still, still playable. It's still playable. We're at like 70 to 80 to 90 FPS. It's settling in now to, now in the hundreds. So we're actually getting a bit better performance than I was even expecting. Fortnite's not as dependent as it used to be. That guy's trying to snipe me. Oh! Five HP! Thank you. Uh, this is where laptop screens suck! Oh, there you go, tiger tooth. Rawr. Oh, already being shot at, I found him. Yeah. Yeah, you just got sorted, bro. Or I just killed them. They really just failed on that one right there. Well, gamers, Fortnite, it runs. Not too bad. The single channel memory is working out just fine. Uh, but what we'll do is run some built-in benchmarks of some more demanding titles. We got Cyberpunk, probably like Hogwarts, I will throw in there as well, or some other games, and 
Um, then after that, we will do the RAM upgrade, show you guys how to do the RAM upgrade, show the before and after with those benchmarks, and uh, also just show you what other expansion this laptop is capable of, because if you're paying only $700 for a laptop, you definitely want to have some room for upgrades in the future. Let's go ahead and switch to that. All right guys, so upgrading this laptop is very simple. All you have to do is flip the laptop over, make sure the laptop is fully powered off and get a screwdriver with a PH1 Phillips bit so you don't strip out any of these screws. You don't wanna mess that up because it can be a problem in the long term. And what you wanna do is unscrew all of these screws and then grab from the top right corner. I found that was the best spot to pry this laptop off. Um, the back plate just pops right off after that. It's pretty simple. And on the inside, you can see we can add another M.2 slot. And it looks like there's a spot for a two and a half inch drive as well. And Underneath this little black plastic piece, once you pull it back, there is an open RAM slot. Now, this is 8 gigs, 3200 megahertz. So we have this uh, kit right here that is a single 8 gig, 3200 megahertz stick. We popped it right in there, push it down. And then before we screw everything back in just to save time, we made sure to put the back plate back on, power on the laptop and get into Windows to verify that we actually upgraded properly and got the 16 gigs. And as you can see right here in Task Manager, we we're absolutely good to go. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is run those built-in benchmarks again that we did. We had Cyberpunk and Hogwarts Legacy and show you guys what the performance upgrade is like. All right guys, we just got done benchmarking this Asus Tough laptop and overall, I think we can give it a pretty good review being $699. Now, if it gets any more expensive, probably not worth it, but we do recommend adding that second stick of RAM. We actually did both tests. We did one channel and dual channel, and we definitely found that dual channel in most games adds a pretty good performance boost. Yeah, and a lot of the newer AAA titles, the RAM usage is almost to eight gigs, so it's pretty much maxed out there, so getting extra headroom. Hogwarts Legacy went from using almost eight gigs to 15 gigs of RAM, so we <laughs> used every little bit of RAM that this thing had in it, so Definitely upgrade if you're playing some higher end games, but as you can see, you can definitely play them on medium settings. So if you want to buy this gaming laptop and the RAM upgrade, check the links in the description down below. They will be affiliate links and they will help us out. Let us know what you think of this laptop and let me know if there's any other cool laptops on Amazon you would see us take a look at. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Now, if you would like to get this awesome laptop with the higher refresh rate screen, the RGB keyboard, and it's already been upgraded by some pros, and it comes with a one-year warranty, I recommend checking out PCBros.Tech. PCBros.Tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and even merch. Merch all the way around us. You can buy merch today and use code TOASTBROS2 and check out the save 2% your next purchase. See you guys later. Bye-bye. Peace out.